Let me close, because the numbers have gone very red at the back now, <laughs> up on the wall, and I presume that means time up. Can I... We're, cl we're done by 12, right? One, two more minutes. Yeah. You know, you know, Jacob said to Joseph, what is this dream that you have? I want to say to you, what's this dream that you have? What's this dream that you have? This group of men and women, we are not like, by the grace of God, we're not like Joseph's family was. And we believe in God and people. What is this dream that you have? What's this thing that you've got? I just want to invite, you can only speak for 15, 12 seconds. So think it, like two or three sentences. I want a few of us just to stand up and shout out. My, and it can be vague as anything or precise as anything. I want you to stand up and shout out. My dream is, please start with those three words. My dream is, da, 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 da. And just see what happens when you do that. My dream is to see the dead rise. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, let's try that again. Could you just say that again? This is a biblical dream. It's completely in line with strict scripture, and it's what our brother Joseph has as a dream. Try it again. It was spoken to me way back in about 10 years ago, 15 years ago, and it was by, by the uh, women team. Yeah. What a dream. Do it. Yes. Amen. My dream will be, we will be all fishers of men. We'll be fishers of men. That's a great dream. Amen. Joshua. Josh Bucus, I know this guy. What's, what's your dream, mate? Uh, my dream is to actually go into preaching and to go preach the word of God across the nations. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> my dream is to be a counselor to young teenagers. To be a counselor to young teenagers. Excellent. <laughs> Any dreams that mums or dads have? Remember, be for you, be for others, big, there. Anything along, any on those lines? My dream is that my kids grow to know Jesus. Yeah. Boom. That's mighty. You do that. Yeah, you do that. Come on. Awesome. Yes. Two more. My dream is to encourage folks and to keep on believing. Awesome. That's vital. That's an excellent dream. One more. My dream is to see overseas students in this church return to their nations of heart churches. Awesome. That's great. That's great. Now, now listen, we're not just going, woohoo. We're saying God has given you dreams. And whether your dreams turn out exactly like that or you've got something a bit vaguer and there'll be some turns in the road, that's not the issue. The issue is there's a God in heaven who has put desires in your heart. And every desire we've heard in the last two minutes are heavenly desires. They're aligned with Scripture. They're unselfish. They're right in keeping with the kind of dreams that God gives those who've had their lives regenerate by Him. And if you're sitting here and you're thinking, I'm not even sure I'm a Christian, I, I want to leave you with this. Being a Christian, I'm, and I'm condensing this right, being a Christian is about being forgiven of your sin, past, present, and future, and knowing peace with God. Forgiven. And as we've heard more about this morning, it's about being given purpose. Your creator has created you for purpose. You're not an accident. 
You've been born with a purpose. You need to be forgiven of your sin and come into relationship with God, and then you will find your purpose in Him. That's what it means to be a Christian, being forgiven, peace with God, and being given awesome purpose by God and finding it. Remember, your, your Creator is the best one to know what you've been created for. Let's pray. Father, for men and women here who are considering crossing the line of faith, I do pray that forgiveness, that offer, and purpose, that offer, would prove irresistible. I pray for that, and that they would soon cross the line of faith. In fact, just as you're sitting here, just keep your eyes closed. If you want to cross the line of faith today and receive the forgiveness of God and start your purpose in God, just slip up your hands, just so I can see it. Good, just keep your hand up for a second. Anyone else? That's wonderful. Anyone else? Okay, you can put your hand down. God bless you. Please come and chat to me just after the meeting, and I'll help get you started in your followership of Jesus. And we'll pray a prayer of forgiveness. And then if you're a Christ follower here, and you've had people in your lives saying, what is this dream that you have? In any form, they've said that in any form, today is the end of that having any impact on you. If you are too full of confidence and not full enough of humility, receive humility now. If you've got the humble bit down pat, but you need more confidence, just receive confidence from God. Lord, I pray. Lord, we, we, we just want, as was said earlier in the meeting, to be part of making you known and famous in our generation. And I pray, Lord, for every one of my brothers and my sisters here, that they would feel stirred, encouraged, and equipped, and they would increasingly come into the purpose that you have for them. I pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Brilliant. Thank you so much, PJ. Absolutely amazing.